homemade barbecue mastering the art of barbecue at home hey everyone welcome back to multi recipes and c-o-o-k-e-r-i-e-s channel today we're diving into the world of mouth-watering barbecue and i'll be showing you how to make a delicious homemade barbecue right in your own backyard whether you're a seasoned pitmaster or a barbecue novice this recipe is sure to impress so let's fire up the grill and get started before we begin let's take a quick look at the ingredients you'll need for our homemade barbecue meat choose your favorite cut whether it's ribs brisket chicken or beef dry rub create a flavorful blend with ingredients like paprika brown sugar garlic powder onion powder salt pepper and any secret spices you love barbecue sauce you can use store bought or try making your own with ketchup brown sugar, vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, and spices. Wood chips. Select your favorite wood chips for smoking. Hickory, mesquite, or applewood work well. Charcoal, wood, for that authentic smoky flavor. Vegetable oil, to prevent sticking on the grill. Now, let's dive into the preparation process. Prepare the meat. Trim excess fat from the meat and pat it dry with paper towels. Apply the dry rub generously, covering all sides. Let it sit in the refrigerator for at least an hour, or preferably overnight, for the flavors to penetrate. Prepare the grill. Set up a two-zone fire for indirect grilling. Place charcoal on one side and leave the other side empty. Soak wood chips in water for about 30 minutes, then add them to the charcoal for that smoky flavor. Get the grill ready. Brush the grill grates with vegetable oil to prevent sticking. Preheat the grill to a medium heat, around 225,250 degrees Fahrenheit. Smoking the meat. Place the meat on the cool side of the grill, away from direct heat. Close the lid and let it smoke. You can periodically add more wood chips for that extra smokiness. Grilling and saucing. Once the meat reaches an internal temperature close to your desired doneness, move it to the hot side of the grill. Brush on your favorite barbecue sauce and let it caramelize for a few minutes on each side. And there you have it, a homemade barbecue that's sure to make your taste buds dance. Remember, the key to great barbecue is patience and a whole lot of love. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe our multi recipes and c-o-o-k-e-r-i-e-s channel for more delicious recipes, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Until next time, happy grilling! Ingredients and preparation methods are in the description box. Thanks for joining me on our multi recipes and C O O K E R I E S channel. I can't wait to hear about your barbecue adventures in the comments. See you in the next video. Thank you very much, beef barbecue lovers.